Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of the new features found in Pro Tools 12.6 that I really like. First being clip fades. If we use the smart tool, we can draw fades like so. Now we've been able to do this for some time, but what's new and what's really quite useful is that we can click again and change the shape of the slope. Really quite cool. Now, if we wanna change the style of the slope, we can go right click fades, S-curve, simple again, and what I'm doing is holding down the left mouse button and just pushing up and down, really simple. Now, it's a bit of a shame that it's a two-step process. What I mean by that is, let's take these off again. It's a shame we can't create the fades and manipulate the shape at the same time whilst keeping my finger clicked down. It sort of feels as though it's a two-step process. Click and release to make the fades. Click, change the slope and release. Other than that, it's a great new feature. Moving along, let's record some bass guitar and I'm gonna show you the new automatic playlist feature. So what I'm gonna do is record some bass guitar and demonstrate a problem that us Pro Tools users have had for quite a while in the edit window. So now I'm gonna record again, but I'm gonna start at a different position. So let's say a bar sooner and record past the end of this clip. Okay, so I've recorded over my first take and it doesn't matter if I use the trim tool here, I can't find it. And that's always been a little bit of a pain. So usually we'd have to use an undo feature to try and find an earlier take or go through all the clips on the right here and hope that we could line it back up again. Now, that was never really an elegant way of working, but now Avid have included the new automatic playlist feature. So let's engage that and re-record all of this again and I'll show you how it works. But first we need to go up to Pro Tools Preferences, Editing, and we need to make sure that these two settings are selected. Click OK, and let's record a little bit of bass again. Okay, so let's try and mimic what I did earlier. So I'm gonna start a bar earlier and finish a little bit later. Okay, watch closely. Did you see that? The actual clip itself highlights with a little arrow just to symbolize that there's a clip behind that. And we've got this new shortcut, shift up and down on your keyboard. Up goes to the previous take, down goes to the take you've just done it. And you can keep layering or you can keep recording over your clips and you can find them very, very easily. That is it's just a brilliant feature. Obviously, if we load up our playlists on the left here, take one, the shorter take, and take two. And obviously these work exactly how playlists have always worked in Pro Tools. So really easy to use. This also works quite well if you've got an audio clip that's, you know, large. I'm going to use this as an example here. I'm just going to drag this straight over the top because it's longer. It makes another playlist. There we go. That's what I've just dragged over. There was my second take and there's my first. All really simple. And it's worth mentioning as well that this also works with MIDI. So I've got this on an instrument track and I've got nothing loaded on it at the minute. That's why it's grayed out. But if I use this large clip and just drop that on top, quick highlight and I can use my shift up and down find what's going on all very simple anyway that was a very quick fly through of a couple of the features that I like in the new Pro Tools 12.6 I've been Dan and thanks for watching